Hey everyone, Ms. Demise here. This is Guy for Nurburgring 24 Hour with the Dodge Viper Group 3. For the sake of the video's length, I'll try to stop the video a bit less often. So your first breaking point is the 150 meter mark. You're going to be breaking hard for a while and you want to try to get to the apex as there's a little dip that can help the car rotate a bit more. Get as close as you can to the barriers and be nice and gentle accelerating your way out of this turn. Now brake when the track piece on the right ends. Bring yourself to the left side of the track and brake when the curb on the left ends. Nice and easy going off of the brakes and slowly transitioning over to the throttle. Look for the start of the curb that is on the left as that is your next braking point. Once again, you just want to be nice and easy going off of the brakes. Slowly transition over to the throttle. Now bring yourself to the right side of the track and do a couple of lifts off of a throttle. Try to get on the curves if possible. Now bring yourself to the right and brake when the tarmac on the right starts. Slowly ease off of the brakes and you want to bring yourself to the left side of the track. Brake a little early for this turn. Just do small amounts of braking. You just want the car to be adjusted to get a fast exit out of the turn. Now bring yourself to the right side of the track and unlike the GP version, you can brake a little later here so you'll be braking before the 50 meter mark. Be pretty aggressive through the chicane. Bring yourself to the right and brake before you reach the dirt patch that is on the left. Brake hard for a short moment. Slowly ease off of the brakes. Now brake when the pit wall on the right ends. Slowly ease off of the brakes. Carefully get on the throttle. Look for a sign on the left as that is your turning point. Do a lift off of the throttle. Now look for a patch of dirt that is on the right as that is your next braking point. Try not to get too much onto the curb on the left. Control your braking, slowly get on the throttle, do a lift here if necessary, and do a couple quick bursts of braking. Now when the tarmac changes color, that is when you can start to brake. So as you see here, the tarmac is darker just up ahead. Bring yourself to the inside of the turn, Try to be a little careful when you're getting on the throttle. Bring yourself to the left. Just after you make this jump, do a lift off our throttle and quickly get back on it. Now let's fast forward through this. Look for the second sign that is on the right and that is your turning point. Lift off our throttle, bring yourself to the left and break just before the curb on the left ends. You'll be braking hard for a short while. Carefully ease off of the brakes. Slowly transition over to the throttle. There's going to be a patch of dirt that is on the right and that is your next braking point. Quick burst of braking, take advantage of the curves and brake just after this turn ends then brake just before you reach the crosswalk. Bring yourself to the insides of the turns. Be nice and gentle with your throttle input. You want to do a little bit of braking as you go through this turn. Look for the riding that is on the tarmac as you want to brake just after you pass it. Brake hard for a short moment. Quickly ease off of the brakes. Now look for the white signs on the left as that is your next braking point. Ease off of the brakes. Be nice and gentle with your throttle input. Do a quick lift off of the throttle as you go through this part and brake before the curb on the right starts. Just use some of your braking power and slowly accelerate. When the grass on the left turns into dirt, that is when you want to start to brake. Brake hard for a short moment then control your braking as you go through this right turn and then through these double left turns. Nice and gentle on the throttle to keep stability on the car. Now look for the end of the curb on the right as that is your next braking point. Ease off of the brakes. Nice and gentle on the throttle. Brake just before the curb on the left ends. Be a little careful around here as it's a little bumpy 
which can potentially cause some cars to want to lose control. Now for the upcoming breaking point, look for this blue dot as you want to break just after you pass it. Brake hard for a short moment. Slowly ease off the brakes and be careful when you start to accelerate because if you get a little too much on the curb and into the grass, that can make you spin out. Now let's fast forward through this. Brake before the gray curb on the right ends and you just want to use a little bit of braking. You want to try to maintain your speed here. Do a lift off a throttle. Bring yourself to the left and brake just before the curb on the left starts. Try to stay towards the inside of the turn if possible. Be nice and gentle with your throttle and brake just after you pass the final happy little tree on the left. Be a little careful over here as it's a little easy for the car to want to lose control. Once the car is pointing where you want to go, you can start to fully accelerate. For this left turn, you can do a short lift if needed. Brake when the curb on the right starts. A lot of throttle control is needed here. And this one's a little easy to miss, but you can use the track marshal on the right as your braking point. Quick burst of braking through here. Nice and gentle on the throttle. And for this right turn, you can ease off of the throttle. For this left turn, use some braking. Use a little more braking on the right turn and brake just before the curb on the left ends. Try to stick to the right side of the track and look for this Yokohama sign that is kind of hidden and you want to brake just before you pass it. Try to stay towards the inside of the turn. Now brake before the gray curb on the left ends. Stay on fourth gear. Brake before the curb on the left ends once again. Just be nice and easy on the throttle. Bring yourself to the right. Look for the dirt patch that is on the right as you can brake just as it starts. This turn is a little long and drawn out, so be patient on your throttle input. Now bring yourself to the left side of the track and brake just before you make this jump. Be a little careful here with your throttle input. For this left turn, do a short lift. Then bring yourself to the left side of the track. And you can pretty much just go through this part at full throttle. Do a short lift if needed. Bring yourself to the left. Look for this digital flag that is on the right as you want to brake just as you pass it. Use some of your braking power to bring yourself to the right and brake when the curb on the right ends. Nice and careful on the throttle. Do not get on the gravel. Brake when the curb on the right is just about to end. Nice and gentle on the throttle. Bring yourself to the left. Brake before the curb on the left ends. Do not hit the apex as it's a little bumpy. Do a little lift off our throttle as you make this right turn and fully accelerate and take a breather. Let's fast forward through this part. Take this left turn at full throttle. Take this upcoming left and right turn at full throttle and you can brake just as the curb on the right ends. If you feel a little brave, you can brake right after it ends, which I do here. You want to be a little careful here as the car will be a bit unstable, so you can try to exit at a higher gear to try to keep some stability on the car. But that's all for the lap guide. Let's go ahead and quickly talk about the strategies. For this race, your primary objective is to survive. This is an easy no-stop race, so don't worry about the tires nor the fuel. You also want to be a bit careful as you go through the first turn on the first lap as it's pretty easy to overshoot it. In this case, I overshot it just by a little bit, so use the 150 meter mark as your braking point. Your tires will also be a little cold, so it will take some time for them to warm up. By the time you reach the North Slifer section, your tires should be good to go. As for doing any sort of overtaking, the main straight is a good place to do some overtaking. This place can also have some overtaking action be done if you get a good exit. And the back straight, which I'll show in a bit of the GP section, is another good place to do an overtake. The reason why I say this is because once you reach the North Schleife section, it's going to be dangerously hard to try to get an overtake done. 
the track narrows down to where you can barely fit two group three cars and any little mistake or any little collision can cause an incident to happen and you can potentially just end up getting bumped off of the track or something along the lines of that. So this back straight here is also another good place to get an overtake done. So the other thing is that when you're right behind someone on the Norschleifer section, they can easily block the path. So you pretty much have nowhere to go and you're forced to stay stuck behind them. You'll pretty much be stuck behind them until they either mess up or they actually give you enough space to let you on by. So for example, this was from Sunday evening before the daily races changed. I got a slightly better exit than the car in front of me and I'm going to see if I can try to poke on in for an overtake but because the track is so narrow and he starts to defend, I had to back out to try not to get myself taken out or just have any incident happen. So I'm going to be stuck behind this guy for a while. This part over here, it is also possible to get an overtake done and that is if you have an opening available. But in this case, I'm still stuck behind them. So I'm just gonna have to wait for a while more before an opportunity comes up. And if nothing happens between then and here, which is the back straight of the North Slifer section, then this is your next opportunity to try to get an overtake done. You do want to be a little closer towards the three quarters of a second range so you can get a better slingshot and try to overtake them towards the end of the straight. The reason why I say that was because I was a little too close. I got the slingshot done, but he's able to slingshot out of me now. So now we're doing a drag race and we're going to basically play a game of chicken to see who ends up breaking first. So we're side to side, we're going to see if we're going to end up murdering each other and we end up breaking side to side and I'm able to just squeeze on by. So it's going to get a little hectic here and you basically need to question if you're crazy enough to try to get a move like that done. And hopefully you don't get a stupid penalty if that ends up happening. And if you're able to just keep the car on the pavement, on the tarmac, and not make any significant errors, then you're already doing pretty good because chances are there's already going to be a handful of people in your lobby that have already messed up and sent themselves or others to the Shadow Realm. As for the cars to use for this race, you generally want to lean towards using power cars so cars like the Dodge Viper, the Chevrolet Corvette, their high speeds will be able to make an impact on the North Life section, but there is a bit of an exception to cars that will do well here. One of those exceptions is the Porsche 911 RSR. That is a handling car, so it'll do well on the GP section, and it'll do okay in the North Life section. When it comes to the power parts of the of both layouts, the Porsche will struggle as it doesn't have the top speed. But when it comes to the handling sections, that's where the car shines. Another good thing about the Porsche is that that car is really stable. It's pretty easy to use, so it'll give you a bit less to worry about when you're going through this track. It's not the fastest, but it's uh, a little bit easier to use than other cars. Really, there is quite a few cars that you can use for this race. Pretty much just bring whatever car you feel comfortable using. Just try to stay on the track, do your best, and you should be good to go. But that is all from me. I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. So this is Mr. MCA wishing you a good race, and I'll see you in the next video.